loss of U.S. prestige in the world started when we wanted to end the war in Vietnam. Because it was costing the U.S. money, resources, and men more than we expected. But we, but we didn't just want to leave, completely leave South Vietnam alone and be viewed as weak. So Nixon came up with a plan called Peace with Honor, which lets the U.S. slowly leave while South Vietnam takes control. In 1973, George Gallup got polls from 341 foreign leaders from over 70 countries. They found different results. 86 of them thought the U.S. had lost reputation by being in Vietnam. 66 thought the U.S. military intervention was a mistake. 55% thought communism did not have a setback, but 26% of them did. 59% of them thought that U.S. should help North Vietnam rebuild, and only 34 were opposed to that. World leaders were critical of the refusal by U.S. to abide by the Geneva Agreement. Many felt provoked by America's immediate turn to force and the failure of it, undermining U.S. prestige worldwide. With this and President Nixon's claim to have wanted peace with honor but prolonging the war, America lost trust and respect. America's army was seen as weak because they had such a large amount of powerful weapons but still struggle against a country not advanced in many aspects. Other countries saw how the U.S. citizens began to distrust its own government, so they started to question if they could trust it as well. This also made America have second thoughts about involving itself in future foreign affairs.